Hi everyone, so this is Lisa from Loves Me Not Crochet, and today I would like to show all of you beginner crocheters how to make a slip knot. Um, if you are crocheting anything that tells you to start by chaining something, you will need to begin by making a slip knot. So this is one of the most important things that you'll need to know in order to continue. So I'll try to keep it short and sweet. Um, this is the end of your yarn right here, and the rest of the yarn, which as you'll see is attached to the ball, this is called your working yarn. So what we're going to do is I like to take, um, I like to keep my fingers on the end here, slide it down maybe about a foot or so, and then you're going to be left with with this right here so you're gonna have like about this much in front of you so you're gonna take your working yarn so the side on the left and you're going to now watch closely as I do this make a loop just like that so your working yarn is going to I'm gonna do it again just so you can see it here's your working yarn you are going to want to Pull the working yarn in front of the tail, just like that, and then hold it. So the tail end of your yarn should be behind your working end. And if you look, here's the tail. There's the tail. The tail comes up, or I'm sorry, behind the working yarn and you're left with a little bit of a loop. Then what you're going to do, and this is the easy part, stick your fingers into the hole, like your, your pointer and your thumb, and you're going to grab the, the working yarn, just like that, and pull up another loop, leaving your pointer finger on it, okay? Then let go of what you were holding before, put your crochet hook into that hoop that's on your pointer finger, Grab a hold of the tail of the yarn and grab the working yarn and pull. Pull it again. Make sure it's pretty tight on there. You don't want it too tight so that you can't move it, just but tight enough so that it's secure. And there you have a slip knot. So if you have any questions or if you um, ever need like further explanation on anything, I plan to continue a lot more videos to really help everybody get in the get the hang of crocheting um if it wasn't for these videos on youtube i would not be able to crochet the way that i can today so feel free to contact me at on my business page which is www.facebook.com slash loves me not crochet not is spelled k-n-o-t which i have provided um links at the bottom of the video um, or you can also email me at lovesmenotcrochet at yahoo.com with any questions, concerns, comments, anything at all. And I'm usually pretty good about responding within a day at the absolute most, usually sooner. So thanks for watching.